Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Alpha Wolf 22SW smaller trailer. This unit sleeps too, does have one slide out, little outdoor kitchen. We're going to take a minute, run you through the inside of the RV, then we're going to come back to the outside, and then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Alpha Wolf 22SW trailer here. And uh, we'll show you around here. Starting in the middle section here, you have a theater seat, which does have lighted cup holders, little LED light strips below, and it has heat and massage built in as well. You have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Furion refrigerator. You also have a nice size little pantry area over there as well. There's a sliding pocket door to block off the bedroom area on the left there. Little kitchen area, so you do have a couple drawers, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. There's also some overhead cabinetry right here. Decent amount of space. Traditional microwave. The Greystone hood range with light and fan built in. Along with the Greystone oven, which does have the glass front and the lights built in, along with the lighted knobs and the three burner stove top. Down below you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses. Then you have an electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater, but it's a pretty cool little setup. Furion AM FM radio there with HDMI inputs. And a decent sized place there to put about a 40 inch flat screen TV right there. The unit has ducted air conditioning. They're currently using the Coleman AC, which is a little bit quieter than the standard Dometic. Pretty cool little roller blinds used here in that slide out. The slide out is also electric, so you push a button, it goes in and out. It does have a manual override as well in case of an electronic failure. And they do have little end tables, removable end tables. I put one up there on the left and left the other one out just to kind of show you what it looks like there. But uh, so if you do need to eat something, you got kind of a small little pole there with a TV tray kind of set up there. Now back here in the back is your bathroom. It's a pretty good sized bathroom for a smaller trailer. It goes all the way across the back of the RV here. Pretty good sized linen closet along with a real wood medicine cabinet. Foot flush porcelain uh, toilet there. We'll pop up a few pictures so this is a little bit easier to see than with the camera, but good size shower, overhead skylight, air conditioning in here as well, along with a big turbo exhaust fan. And again, another sliding pocket door here to just slide across and give you some privacy. Now over by your entry door, you have your main control panel right here your air conditioner control, and the little meter again for that solar panel telling you what your volts are on it. Over on the left here is a huge pantry. It even has a little uh, coat hook holder and stuff in there. But you can kind of use this as a pantry for the shelf area back there and then a little linen uh, uh, broom closet or whatever you want to put in there. But overall, pretty cool little couples coach, not too large. We'll put all the specs down below for you. Now heading into the bedroom area, 
You have a hanging closet on both sides of the bed. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports also on both sides of the bed. Some overhead cabinet space. Queen size bed here. And the bed does raise up, so there is room to put some stuff underneath of there as well. There's also plenty of room to walk around in here. More little robe holders. You have TV hookups up here as well, so if you wanted to do a small flat screen TV here, you could. Now we are going to head to the outside, show you around the outside, and then we'll come right back in, close it up, show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Alpha Wolf. We're gonna start here on the door side. This particular model has a nice large pass-through storage across the front. You can see in there a light switch for that LED light strip, the battery disconnect, and also the uh, box little there for the Furion charge controller for the little 50 watt solar panel that comes on the RV as an option. Power awning with the LED light strips on the arms instead of on the tube or against the camper. So a little bit different setup there. You're starting to see this more and more on these RVs. Have the little pet friendly leash here. Optional power stabilizer jacks here fully enclosed underbelly, your gas hookup right there for this little outdoor kitchen. Two burner stove, you have a little dump sink, little ice maker right there, and the little mini fridge. Double axle, does have the little uh, sensors on the valve stems there for tire pressure. TV hookups out here, couple outdoor speakers. The more ride step, so you have a triple entrance step with adjustable feet. Large folding entry handle. Your model number and some informational stickers there next to that handle. The unit has the fold down rack on the back, little luggage rack or bike rack, whatever you want to use it for. Holds a couple hundred pounds. It's pre-wired for backup camera on the rear or observation camera. Would definitely recommend the observation camera so you can use it while you're driving down the road. You have the outside utility shower here, hot and cold water. Six gallon gas electric water heater also, which does have the electric switch in this lower corner. Detachable 30 amp electric service power cord and also your main hookup for your cable, satellite, black tank flush, city water, and fresh water fills all right here on this back corner. Slide out is an electric slide out. It is prepped for slide toppers. If you wanted to add a slide out awning topper to the RV, you could do so. Use a nice light gray fiberglass as well, so it's a little bit uh, different looking than a traditional white RV. Just gives it a little more uh, painted kind of look, I guess you'd say, but it's really just gray fiberglass. The other side of the large storage compartment here. Now down below, you can also see the second gray tank dump. The kitchen is up here toward the front, in front of the axle, so it is separate from the back dump area. You're going to see also pop up here your weight stickers. So you're going to have your gross vehicle weight sticker, your dry weight sticker, your carrying capacity stickers, and your tire stickers. Now on the front of the RV, you have a heavy-duty three-quarter fiberglass front cap. So it's a little bit stronger than the traditional flat roll fiberglass you'll see on a lot of RVs. A couple little blue LED light strips there. The lower portion is a diamond plate. 
two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator and comes with the hard bottle cover as well. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, power stabilizer jack, power tongue jack, which does have a manual override in case of electronic failure. And then you also have a light built in there as well. Pretty cool little setup for a smaller RV. And we're going to head back inside, close it all up, and show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're now up inside the RV here, and I just wanted to show you what this all looks like closed up. So again, on your panel here next to the entry door, you have your in and out button for your slide. So you push this button, and the slide comes right in at you. Make sure there's nothing sharp on the floor or anything like that. Rocks, pebbles, you know, screws, whatever, because it will run right over top of it and rip your floor. So make sure the floor is clean before you run this slide out in. Also guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They are actually the largest Arctic and Alpha Wolf dealer, along with some other Forest River products dealer in the country as well. They'll definitely save you guys a lot of money. Now, when this comes in, you can still get to the kitchen area, your refrigerator, your little pantry area up this way, all your cabinets. So if you're stopping at the grocery store on the way and you want to load it, you could come in and out of here. Now, to get to the bedroom, you would have to be a little small person to do so squeeze in and out of there would be very tight the larger person's not going to fit in there including me um, so you would have to bump out the slide if you are looking to sleep at a rest area or something like that now you have full access to the bathroom again so if you're stopping you could do so and come right on in and use the bathroom so no problems there now when you run the room back out you just push the button out and the slide will move back out now keep an eye out guys, we're going to have some new, well I'll have some new videos here over the course of the next few weeks um, on new models, new floor plans. The RV industry is going through its mid-year model change coming up here in August. So you will start seeing some new models, new floor plans possibly, new color changes on a lot of RV brands. So that is definitely going to be a nice time to catch up on the new stuff and my new videos coming up here over the next few weeks. Um, also guys, the RV industry has gone through a huge, huge boom of sales because of all this COVID-19 stuff. Uh, so this definitely is a good time to buy an RV, but be a little cautious because some dealers now are starting to overcharge for things even more than they used to just because they might have one camper sitting on the lot. Uh, so definitely try and remain price conscious as you're out shopping and looking. You know, we personally here at Couches RV Nation have sold almost 1,300 campers in two months. So it's been a crazy, crazy busy time, guys. Um, Again, check us out, Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Definitely going to save you guys a lot of money.